Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math MathCast, lesson 9-7, Fractions in Simplest Form. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by Henry David Thoreau, who was a very famous um, author, and he wrote about um, living out in the wild, kind of simplifying your life, making it as, as clean and unfussy as possible. Um, and his quote is, simplify, simplify, which is perfect for today's lesson, where we are going to learn to simplify. And... Our wedding cake is exactly what we're going to be doing because we're going to simplify, make a cake, simplify, make a cake. And we're going to be looking for the bride and groom on top of the cake. So you're going to see a lot of brides and grooms that are cake toppers in this lesson. I want you to think simplify, make a cake, bride and groom. Our learning goal is to use the make a cake wedding strategy, excuse me, make a wedding cake strategy to find the simplest form of a fraction. Again, simplify, make a cake. Here are individual lesson learning goals. Use the make a wedding cake strategy to simplify fractions. So remember, simplify, make a cake. I've got that written all over this video lesson because I want that to really stick in your head just like the bride and groom do. And know that the fraction in simplest form is always on the very top of the cake just like the bride and groom that you see there. Our vocabulary for today's lesson is simplest form. That's when the only common factor of the numerator and the denominator is one. This may also be referred to as reducing a fraction to its lowest terms. So if you um, are doing a worksheet and it talks about reducing a fraction to its lowest terms, or just reducing a fraction or putting a fraction in lowest terms, that's what they're talking about, simplifying. Here's our example, and you can see again, lots of brides and grooms. I want you to be thinking those two numbers on the very top of the cake. We're gonna write the fraction 16 twentieths in simplest form. Simplify, make cake. So we're simplifying the fraction 16 twentieths. Um, and just a quick reminder on fractions, all fractions fall between zero, so they're greater than zero and less than one, but we're gonna simplify it now, which means we're gonna come up with an equivalent um, fraction, but it's going to be in lowest terms. Now, I just wanted to remind you that when I write fractions horizontally on this video, when we're working with them or thinking about them, this is my numerator, 16, and 20 would be my denominator. And that's just a quick reminder. So now we're going to make a wedding cake, which is just like making a cake for the LCM, the least common multiple, and just like making a cake for the GCF or the greatest common factor. But in this case, we're looking for the bride and groom on top. So in my lowest layer of the cake, I'm going to write 16 twentieths. I'm writing the exact fraction that I see. It is very important that you put the fraction line between these. I'm not just writing two different denominators or two different numbers. I'm actually writing that entire fraction in the bottom layer of the cake. So 16 fraction bar twentieth. And I have to think to myself, what number will divide evenly into both 16 and 20? And the first answer I see is 2. 2 goes into 16 8 times, and 2 goes into 20 10 times. That's the second layer of my cake. What will divide evenly into both 8 and 10? Again, 2. I could have used a different number here on this bottom layer, and that's okay. I'm going to come up with the same answer. 2 goes into 8 4 times fraction bar, 2 goes into 10 5 times. Next layer. What divides evenly into both 4 and 5? 1 is the only thing that will divide evenly, so 1 goes into 4 4 times and 1 goes into 5 5 times. When I've repeated my fraction, instead of multiplying all the way around like we do for LCM, instead of multiplying the layers up the side like we do for GCF, I'm going to just look for the bride and groom on top. So I'll draw a little cloud around them. It looks like they're in heaven, huh? They're so happy to be together. Four fifths is 16 twentieths. Simplified. Simplify, make a cake. Look for the bride and groom. Since we already know how to make cakes, we're going to go ahead and start practicing. See any hints on this page? There's bride and grooms everywhere. Number one, simplify 42 48 Go ahead and pause and push play when you're ready to see the answer. 
Did you write 7 eighths? Let's see how we worked that. So we're going to put our fraction 42 40 eighths in the bottom layer of our cake. 42 40 eighths. What number will divide evenly into both of those? Well, I know two will because they're both even numbers. You could go for a larger number and your cake won't have as many layers, which is okay. But I'm going to go for two. So two goes into 42, hmm, 21 times. Fraction bar. Two goes into 48, 24 times. Let's try another one. Another layer. What will go divide evenly into both 21 and 24? Three. Three goes into 21, seven times. Three goes into 24, eight times. Another layer. What will divide evenly into both seven and eight? Hmm, one. One goes into seven, seven times. One goes into eight, eight times. So remember, simplify, make a cake, bride and groom. We're looking for the bride and groom on top and seven eighths is our simplified fraction. Do you notice that I never just make a cake? If I just made a cake, there are math teachers even who would have no idea what I'm trying to show you. Which of these is the simplified fraction? So I always write my original fraction equals and then my simplified fraction, which is an equivalent fraction. Number two, simplify 16 thirtieths. Pause and push play. And don't forget your bride and groom. Did you write 8 fifteenths? Let's see how we did that. So we'll put 16 thirtieths in the bottom layer of our cake. So important that we write it as a fraction. What number will divide evenly into both 16 and 30? They're even numbers. I'm going to go with 2. 2 goes into 16 8 times, fraction bar. 2 goes into 30 15 times. Layer number 2. What number will divide evenly into both 8 and 15? Hmm. You know what? 1 is the only one. 1 goes into 8 8 times and 1 goes into 15 15 times. There I've repeated my fraction so I know I have gone as far as I need to go and I can find my bride and groom on the top. I'm going to rewrite this in vertical form. 16 thirtieths is equal to 8 fifteenths. I just simplified 16 thirtieths. Number three, simplify 8 36. Pause and push play when you're ready. Did you write 2 ninths? Let's see how we did that one. So we're going to put 8 36 in the very bottom layer of our cake. We'll write it horizontally just like we do when we enter it in the clickers. What goes into both 8 and 36? Hmm. Let's try 4 just for fun. We'll try something different. 4 goes into 8 2 times. 4 goes into 36 9 times. What goes into both 2 and 9? 1. 1 goes into 2 2 times. 1 goes into 9 9 times. Since we've repeated, we know that we're done. So. 2 ninths is our bride and groom on top. And we're going to remember we have to write it appropriately or grammatically correct, so mathematically grammatically correct. So we're going to write our original fraction 8 36 and then our simplified fraction 2 ninths. Remember when we did equivalent fractions the other day? You could do the same thing here. What do we do to 8 to get 2? And we would divide by 4. What do we do to 36 to get 9? You have to do the same thing, so it will be divided by four. That's another way of finding a greatest, com or excuse me, of simplifying. I think that one in the upper left may be one of my favorite cake tops of all. Number four, if Hannah eats 14 36 of a wedding cake, Hannah would never be able to eat that much wedding cake, I'm sure, but let's say she did. How much of the wedding cake did she eat in simplest form? Pause it and push play when you're ready. I can hear my kids mess around up there with their dad. Did you write Hannah ate 7 eighteenths of the wedding cake? Let's see how we found out how much wedding cake Hannah ate. And I want you to notice something else. 
Because the question is in words, anytime you see a question in words, your answer needs to be in words too. You can have numbers as part of it. In fact, that's important. But you want to make sure that you don't just say, she ate. We use the name Hannah. That's what they gave us. And then we want to be very specific and write a complete sentence. Hannah ate 7 eighteenths of the wedding cake. Now let's see how we figured it out. Okay, so I'm going to write this in the bottom layer of my cake. We're going to find out how much cake Hannah ate in simplest form. And what will divide evenly into both 14 and 36? I'm going to go with 2. 2 goes into 14 7 times. 2 goes into 36 hmm, 18 times. That was a little bit tricky. What will divide evenly into both 7 and 18? Well, the only thing that will divide into 7 are 1 and 7. It's a prime number. And 7 won't divide into 18, so I'm going to go with 1. 1 goes into 7 7 times. 1 goes into 18 18 times. Remember, the bride and groom on top are my simplified fraction. It's time to challenge yourself. Mrs. Gooding baked two identical wedding cakes, even though we know we wouldn't, that would never happen. Mrs. Gooding doesn't bake. One was for a wedding party of 256 guests. She cut the cake into 256 pieces and 118 of those pieces were eaten. The other cake was for a smaller wedding party and the amount of cake eaten can be represented by the simplest form of the amount of cake eaten at the first wedding. Hmm, what fraction of the second cake was eaten? Show your work and explain your answer in your flip journal. I think all of you can do this, even though it's going to take some tricky, well, okay, I'm not going to tell you what it's going to take tricky up. We will go over it tomorrow in class. Finishing up, there's a gorgeous wedding cake right there. Um, don't forget, if you are still struggling with this, label yourself if you're at a level one, a two, or a three in your learning. Write down any questions you still have. Remember, I want you to be thinking, simplify, make a cake, bride and groom. Super simplifying, you've completed lesson nine dash seven fractions in simplest form. Simplify, make a cake, bride and groom. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.